Hello everyone, it's Catherine here from Inky Finger Cat. Um, bit of a different video. I have been doing some scrapbooking recently and the pages were just sitting on the side and I thought, right, I need to go and pop up in an album. I've got all my albums down off the top of the cupboard. I haven't really got any space. But I thought, well, do you know what? Maybe it'd be nice to just share with you old scrapbook pages that I've done. Because there's clearly no videos about any of them being made on my youtube channel because i've literally just got those few that i've made recently and one other um so i thought well maybe this would be interesting and also it's fun to look back at old pages partly some of it's in shame because some of it you're going oh my word but you know you learn new styles you learn how to do scrapbooking as you go along so some of them probably look basic so this is quite a chunky album no idea how long this video will last um, but I'm only going to do one album at a time and if people enjoy looking through maybe I'll film the others so this would be part one of four, five, six, six plus a potential bonus seventh I say potential bonus because I've got lots of little albums that are old little post bound, post, post bound albums um, to be honest I have no idea what's in them so I need to look through those as well um, I think one of them is one of my daughters when she was younger she used to do scrapbooking with me so she'd do her own pages but when she was little not the artistic talent that she's currently got I mean maybe it was artistic talent for her age but anyway I'm slightly frustrated because a friend of mine um, I remember saying to me when she does scrapbooking she writes on the back of it the page when she actually made it and I'm, it's just a shame I've never done that and also my pages and my my albums are generally just mixed so this is my album about me i have an album that's well i have two albums about me one about my husband and a couple about my daughter then i've got a separate one that's the my disneyland paris one and i've got a separate one that's our wedding one which is probably the least complete album probably i don't know and then some other random stuff but yeah um they're not in any particular order they're not in date order they're not in um themes or anything along those lines so it is very mixed and i can't tell you when i made the cut when i made the page because i just don't know anyway let's get started before we go on waffling on for ages so gorgeous page i i really like this page um i used pattern paper but cut it apart added in some little um i think they were punched rather than die cut leaves the little green leaves uh, and then i did some zen doodling uh, zen tangle doodling um i did that for a little while zen tangling it was something i was quite into for a while anyway um the picture is all about me it was a scarf that my friend bought me when she was actually well she was she she worked in my team um but she was leaving because she was having a massive massive move in her life and moved down to Devon where she still lives today um but actually I was really poorly at this point um and I, I wasn't actually in work I was having lots of panic attacks and lots of really it wasn't very pleasant depression um but that was the scarf that my friend had bought me and it had reminded me of Zentangle so that's the reason why and I also liked the little lines on the on the flowers I thought they they encompassed the thing very well i did quite a lot of journaling that's quite unusual i think i don't normally do huge amounts of journaling but we'll see if that's the case going through this album okay goodness me this is an old picture of me i've realized the light will shine on the page reflector so we'll just do our best that we can so that's a picture of me as a child and i was really blue because we were finishing our holiday and that was in my favorite place of all time which is menorca and um, we actually went back to Menorca for a holiday last year. Took my husband and my daughter. Um, just the most beautiful island. I just love it. And we went a few times when I was a child. And this was me. Very gloomy because it was the end of the holiday. Um, fairly simple page, really. Just a couple of pieces of pattern paper. A few tags. I suppose, really, it was... They were all stamped, if I remember, and then punched out. There was a stamp set that you could do that with from stamping up. Uh, although that's not stamping up paper. I don't know where that paper was from. Uh, no idea. 
but yeah some really cute um cute little banners and i also like all the little arrows and things that i added on that's quite cute so probably more akin to a fairly normal style for me now i would say a cluster with lots of embellishments oh this is an interesting page isn't it me on a very exciting day oh yes so we went to the lowry so i've got a date on this so i know when this was i've no idea how old that picture is so i don't know what year it was um but yeah a selfie picture of me when we went to the lowry um It's an unusual way of me to do ribbon. That's not normal. And also big expanse of, hey, a massive picture. That, that's a massive picture, isn't it? Um, so that's a seven by four and a half picture. Really big. Don't know why I have such a big picture. But yeah, the massive expanse of that text paper. Not so keen on that page, must admit. I quite like those, they're quite cute, but there's no real proper title on it. But I love the colours. Oh, this is an unusual one. So, many, many, many years ago, I used to have a scrapbook um, kit delivered. This was, oh, I mean, years ago. And this was a paper that was in that. Um, so, it's all printed the bits on the back, the family stuff. So, all I've done is added a, another small piece of paper. A little bit of um, text around it and then our picture on the top with some flowers really simple page because all of those words did the kind of job for me but very simple cut and stick what i would say cut and stick scrapbooking um but effective works um so my daughter took this picture of me in the car i remember that i think we we're going to wigan yeah to, out to meet auntie trish and uncle john for tea uh, so i've got the the year ah we just had our hair done so yeah hair done put some makeup on got dressed up because we're going out for tea with my mum and dad and my auntie and uncle um me and my daughter i don't know why vim wasn't going who knows he must have been going somewhere else weird way that i've done the papers here just weird curvy lines ribbons waving through don't dislike it but it it does seem a bit weird do you know what i think that's the same paper cardstock as i did my page on yesterday and there it is again that cardstock yeah i obviously got a lot of it okay so this is me and my husband and we were in cambridge and i have done virtually no form of journaling apart from we were at chilford hall vineyard in cambridge june 2018 um again a big expanse big block of the pattern paper interesting that i chose to mat my photos on green as opposed to white and green or the cream and the green because i actually think that's very vanilla cardstock in the background um some interesting stickers going on um and then i've obviously cut apart this um hexagon base thing but then randomly i've not lined up these so that they're the same orientation as these hexagons so it's sort of jarring for me um but again don't dislike it feels like it needs some doodling or some expedia or something on it to make it feel finished oh i've just realized these circles are actually obviously there's another sticker that was on the inside and this is just the outside the frame of it interesting see that one i've lined up a little bit better but this one i haven't odd odd choices but meh. so this is interesting so pearls on this one some lace but can you see here i was used a tape with my seam binding and you can see it through so that's i'm not a person that's really bothered about archival quality most people are never going to look at these pictures again i i do have this thing I'm sort of tempted to do Swedish death cleaning. Um, and I, I do look at all of my stuff and think, what on earth would Maya do with this if I was to die? I don't know if she'd enjoy it or not. Again, I can see the tape through there that's actually keeping 
the lace in place very interesting so this was a similar time as that very first one 2013 does it say the same on it yeah early 2013 this is when i wasn't very well with my mental health and another scarf and another friend so my friend mara knitted that scarf for me it's like a shawley scarf it's really cute um i've not worn that for ages actually it's up in the cupboard but um i've just not worn it for ages i've sort of maybe it's menopause but i'm getting a little bit i can't cope with things around my neck i get a bit hot um but i've got hundreds of scarves so oh i've used glossy accents on all other flowers which is again an interesting choice don't know why i did that but anyway again new haircut that's when i tend to take selfies is when i've got new hair oh here i am in that scarf again and okay so when i was poorly i spent a lot of time in sainsbury's cafe a lot of time in sainsbury's cafe couldn't quite cope with being in the house because I felt guilty about not doing housework. I wasn't at work because I wasn't well enough to work. Uh, so I used to go down to Sainsbury's Cafe and just sit there for quite a while. It was That was what I did. This is interesting. It's got some of that coordinations card where if you, it's got a different coloured core to the top layer. So you can use um, like a sanding tool to scrape it off. Or if you dry embossed, it would take off the top layer. So that's quite interesting but really massive massive print on that on that paper in the background i don't think i would use anything like that these days that's really interesting um again single photo i'm very much a single photo person i think apart from maybe one these have all so far been single photos very much a single photo person don't don't know why now you're gonna go why is there so many pictures of her? This is my album for me. Okay, so there will be some pictures of the family in here, but it's mainly pictures of me or stories about me. That's what the point of it was. So this is interesting. I have embossed the entire background. I don't know if that will come out on camera or not, but there are lines, sort of one inch, I would say, lines going the whole way. So I've obviously just done it with a scoring tool, uh, kept the black, uh, well, it's black, it's um, dark brown. I, I, I'm going to guess at, uh, early espresso cardstock um used a few pieces of the pattern paper and a few stamped images that i've fussy cut out um but yeah meal out with my friend oh goodness me yes my friend had just had um a colostomy and it was her first meal out and it was so lovely to celebrate with her being able to actually enjoy a proper meal and stuff because she'd been really quite poorly so things i'd definitely change on this is that that really doesn't stand out wrong wrong thing to use entirely uh, and i absolutely need some mixed media in the background of that to, to soften those lines and also blend the background in it just looks a bit too stark otherwise oh goodness me different colour scheme so here we go this is an example where it's not just me on the pictures and really weird a three photo page that's interesting um so mellow so this was up in scotland i think yes after we've been up the Cairngorm mountain railway uh we stumbled across this beach which is random in the middle of scotland uh up against a beautiful lock um couldn't tell you what the lock was named or anything but we had lots of fun playing on the beach for a little while before we made our trek back to where my cousin lives who we were staying with i've used glossy accents to do dots all the way down here created a few different panels and there's a few different types of pattern paper going on I actually really like that page the only thing i'd change is i wouldn't have that bow there and i'd probably have some more embellishments um and I probably wouldn't do the glossy accent dots. That's, that's not me now at all. I do use glossy accents a lot, but not on this sort of stuff. Okay, so picture the three of us because I've got a brand new phone. And we were snuggling together on the bed, playing with my new phone, doing selfies. Um, Pattern paper's got lots of glitter too. It's like an encapsulated glitter. I don't know if that comes through on the camera or not. Uh, I've done glittery letters some doodle lines that's interesting i think that's the first one i've seen doodle lines necessarily on apart from that first sentangle one uh, but there's literally just three sets of lines 
um, interesting. Very plain page, really. There's just those two things as embellishments. But because that pattern paper is so sparkly, I think that's probably why. Okay, so this is not a great picture, but it was one that Maya took of us. I've got no journaling on this to tell me any of that, but I fortunately have remembered. Uh, so my title is Picture Imperfect. But it was perfect because she it was the first time she'd kind of taken a picture where we were kind of in the shot and all the rest of it. Um, so quite cute. Goodness me, we look young. So goodness knows what year it was. Oh, I might have done some journal like look. Day out at Chester Zoo, quickly posing for a picture. Vin and I enjoy a hug. 2011. So there you go. I did do some journaling. Oh, can't get it back in. Um, it's just hidden journaling. Oh, so I went through a little bit of a phase of doing hidden journaling, so I must look out for that as I go along. So this is interesting. Some paper flowers and some buttons with sequins. That's an interesting choice, isn't it? Got the gems. Other than that, I really like that paper. That's really nice paper in the background. Again, where's the mixed media? We didn't do mixed media on scrapbook pages for so long, so many years. And now I can't do it without. Apparently, because the last few pages I've done, all mixed media. Okay, very sparkly paper. This entire panel at the back is one piece of paper. Uh, and it's called an alphabet stack, I think. It's these die cuts with a view, uh, DCWV. Uh, it's their paper. I've still got some of it. Um, quite a bit of it actually and it's a whole stack of each page has got a letter on it and then there's a whole load of letter pages lots of encapsulated glitter um, again paper flowers and buttons maybe I made these at a similar time because of the fact that they're there um, this is my cousin's 30th birthday so my daughter and I dressed up and we were both wearing the same colour dress which is quite cute unusual but cute um, but there's, there's virtually nothing on that that's interesting. Right, oh, now, not sure about this page. So this is when my husband and I went up the Wallace Monument uh, in Stirling. I've been up it several times now. I love Stirling. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful place. Um, lots of pictures. And because there's lots of pictures, I've done virtually nothing apart from strips of paper in the background and some very interesting letters. Don't dislike this page, but it just doesn't feel cohesive, if you know what I mean. Just, again, nothing in the background. Ah, like this one, this is lovely. Again, very old picture of me as a child with my mummy. Um, now, the stories about this page, as in the stories about this picture, they're not written anywhere on the page, but never mind. But I really like, sorry, there's just a bit of um, dirt or dust in there. Um, I really like this page. It's beautiful. That this is this is beautiful in my opinion. So the stamping in the background, a couple of different colours, the grey and the peach, peachy coral colour. Um, I'm going to guess at Crisp Cantaloupe. It's one of my favourite ever colours. Um, in fact, I've still got the ink pad here. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty convinced that that's Crisp Cantaloupe. Love it. Uh, it's one of my favourite peachy colours. I think close to it is probably... Hang on. Ruth I got from... Oh, no, it's not quite the same, is it? Concord and Ninth, it's more of a pinky colour, but Concord and Ninth watermelon. But also, very much a favourite at the moment is that peachy, peachy pinky colour. Uh, but yes, there is a story behind this picture, as in beautiful white dress, all looking pretty and gorgeous. Moments later, chocolate milk all over me. So there you go, that's the story of that. But yeah, really like that page. Just it's a shame it's not actually telling the story because nobody else would know any of that. No idea of the year. This is in Mallorca. Um, I mean, clearly 1980s, but no idea when. Okay. 
another picture of me and my daughter little cheeky chubby chaps uh, and we were dressed up and ready to party i don't know what party we're going to goodness me i remember that top i used to love that top hmm. um don't know where we were going but we were going to a party of some description who knows this is probably old schooly scrapbooking for me though i have got a bit of a doodle line interesting use of that paper in the background it's like a textured card stock and then just pattern paper laid up no frills nothing really bit of ribbon some gems so very different in styles i've, I've not got a style do i this is definitely weird this is another one of those dcwv um, papers with from the alphabet stack so you can see this is a c page because we've got lots of c's on it and obviously it's about me and it's a photo I liked of myself. Uh, oh, this was up in Sterling. So on the same day, or the day before, or the day after, I don't know, uh, that we went up the Wallace Monument. I think this was a day, yeah. Me and my husband had a really bad argument that day, uh, or that evening. Um, I think this was just before the argument. <laughs> it's just fun. Okay. Oh, I like this page, but then I love this picture. It is my favourite ever picture of me. This is this is just my favourite ever picture. So I was a child. I was in Menorca again, my favourite place. Um, it was a different year from that other picture. Uh, I was sat on the rocks, and I actually had really bad sunstroke. Um, I was really poorly. Um, I don't look it. I look good, just gorgeously happy. Um, but I've got a very wet tea towel around my neck. That's what's going on there clearly with a hat on um but yeah i wasn't i wasn't actually very well but i love that picture of me and it's in my favorite place as i say in uh, menorca um i think the thing i'd do differently is my title's sort of lost there it says sitting on the rocks and i think it probably needed a darker font for the um darker color for the, those stickers um and, and where's the embellishments no embellishments whatsoever. Might have to re-scrap that picture at some point because I love it. Though, have I even got that picture again? Must have it somewhere. Okay. Clearly me expecting a baby. Um, this um, little banner thing moves that's on the bottom there. This was actually a kit I did. I think that this was, I don't know if this was part of, but someone that I was friends with, Carol, who used to do something up, did a crop and we went and sometimes she'd do kits that we could buy. Um, and this might have been one of those kits and sometimes they were with instructions. So I know some of these pages will have been layouts that have been guided by somebody giving me instructions very good at following instructions so they're not always very true to the instructions but uh, this might well have been one of those um i remember this paper coming from a kit but i i think it was then uh, but yes this is me in march 2006 very heavily broken awaiting for my daughter but not knowing if it was my daughter okay so this is me in a daft hat um <laughs> so we were going out for Lauren's seventh birthday. Goodness me, Lauren's 18 now. Goodness me, that's quite some time ago, isn't it? Uh, but I'd got a really fun woolly hat that I don't even know where I'd bought it, actually. I love woolly hats. And if they're daft, I'm even better with them. So, yeah. Uh, and obviously the stripes went with the stripes in the wool. Um, but, yeah. But yeah, as soon as I saw the picture, all I could see was how much I looked like my dad. Actually, right at this moment, I don't see that. Don't see that. But we're going ice skating, so hence I was so woolly. <laughs> so I've got a very big woolly jumper on it. Now, I like this page. So this is me and my big cousin, who is little compared to me. Uh, but she's, she's older, so she's my big cousin. But I love this with the colour blocks in the background. This is fun like this uh 
again, buttons. Everything coordinates. It's very stamping up. Everything coordinates. Um, although randomly, those letters will not have been stamping up, but that looks like it works perfectly with the page. Um, but yeah, don't know when this is from, but we were up at my cousin's um, place in Scotland and on a little wander, I'm going to walk around the estate and, um, well, probably not the estate, probably the fields. I don't know. Don't know where we were. Um, oh, I think we've been down to see the pigs at the pig farm. Um, and we just had a little selfie moment. I remember Maya saying, and me saying something about my big cousin. She was like, no, because our Debbie obviously looks younger and is smaller than me. I was like, no, she's not your big cousin. Oh, I just, right, I just saw a very old scrapbook page coming up. Okay, um, this was in Cambridge. So remember we went on that wine tour? Well, one of the evenings we went for a beautiful meal in a and a cocktail bar. Um, so this was, according to me at that point, the best cocktail ever at Deluca Cucina, uh, Cucina and Bar in Cambridge. We had a fantastic meal and amazing cocktails in a cool restaurant in Cambridge. Um, hubby and I had a lovely weekend that weekend in Cambridge. It was the first time we'd ever been away without Maya. Just for a weekend. It was so nice. But yes, it was Pim's, Saint-Germain, Elderflower Liqueur, Prosecco and Basil Sherbet. Interesting. Um, quite like that page. Got my cocktail glasses. I think that ribbon's meant to come down here. But yeah, like that. And interesting because I've scrapped something that is not a human. Very old scrapbook page. Does this look familiar to anybody else? This sort of thing. I'd obviously got an eyelet setter by this point, so everything's got eyelets, and then I've got some kind of wire going on. That's an interesting choice. Um, I think, oh, what were they called? Memory makers or something like that? Making memories? I can't remember. Uh, but sticker? Rub-ons, cut apart letters that are kind of embossed. Yeah, this is my eldest two nieces, but this is me as a teenager. Ooh, love those loafers. Also love how skinny I was. Mm. I'm sorry, I've not mentioned the main thing. Feathers. Yeah, but I think the less said about that, the better. There is, you know, it is one of those things, isn't it? You look back at very old pictures and you go, old scrapbook pages and you go, what was I thinking? But that was that was the thing to do at the time. Again, a non-human thing, but this is my favourite building ever. It's the Natural History Museum. Um, So the one thing I don't like about that is me attempting to do my own writing and then cut it apart. Weird. Uh, but other than that, I love this page. But mainly because I love the pictures. <laughs> I think that's probably why. It's the most glorious, glorious building in the world. Just stunning. Um, okay, that's the pictures about people. So that same kit that was on that pregnancy bump picture... I used the leftovers for this picture of my school friends. So these are my school friends, Claire and Jill, and these are all of our children. Um, Claire at the time was living in New Zealand, but this, she was back on a rare trip to the UK. And um, this was at her mum's house. And uh, yeah, picture of all of them, all of them together. So there's Claire and Jill, and this will be Emily and Kaylee, which are Claire's children. And this will be Lewis and Imogen, which are Jill's children. And my daughter, Maya. Very cute. Very cute indeed. Claire's back in the UK and has been for a number of years now. So, yeah. Okay, so this was our first ever trip to London with Maya. Um, oh, we're in Covent Garden and we were having hot chocolate, apparently. Uh, but yeah, we just did a whole day trip into London. Uh, we were staying out in Slough, uh, which sounds like a weird place to stay, but it was cheap. Um, <laughs> and I used to live in Slough, so it made sense. Um, but yeah, big old page of print in the background. 
don't think I'd ever do that anymore. Also strange that I've not matted my, my photo in any way, so it's sort of weird. Um, and these, this sort of like diagonally kind of strips, but with a some kind of yeah, banner in the middle. I don't know. Don't know what's going on with that. Um, I love the journaling strips though. I like those. That's something I need to reconsider doing is journaling strips like little strips of paper that I do my journal on. no journaling however on this page or whatsoever but a picture of me as a baby and my granddad now this granddad is granddad Berry and granddad Berry looks down at me all the time whilst I'm at this desk because uh, there's a beautiful uh, painting that um, he had made or somebody made of him I really don't know the story behind it uh, but my mum and dad had no room for it in their new apartment. And I was like, well, you're not getting rid of granddad. I want granddad. So granddad sits and looks at me every day. Uh, but this is clearly 1978, because I was born in 1978. Uh, and I look very little there. So maybe only a couple of months old. Um, interesting with the papers. Don't dislike the crisscross thing. Weird. Anyway. No, no embellishment, no journaling, just me and GB, it says. Again, no journaling. This is back in Stirling again. This was us wandering around the city, just having a wander um, on one of the newer bridges. So this is quite interesting because I've got all my papers, but then I've also got some stamped flowers. It's interesting, isn't it? A lot of pearls in this period. I love this paper. I have still got teeny bits of it left, I think. I might have never used it all, but I did love that paper. Um, I had several packs of it and I used quite a lot of it. Oh, here we go. Overnight stop in Stirling on our way up to Aberdeenshire. Uh, gave Finn and I some child free time to explore this beautiful city. So I did do some journaling. Tiny, tiny writing along the edge and almost not noticeable. So when I said I love that paper pack, here we go. Here is that paper pack. Now, this page I did not design. This is a page that somebody else designed and I followed the instructions for. I love it, really happy with it. Uh, again, there's GB, my granddad. So that's my dad, my brother, little me. Uh, so probably 1979-ish. Um, looking at the size of me um, and it looks like it's summery weather. So probably the summer, so I was probably about one. Um, yeah, I love this. What would I do differently? I would probably make the butterflies more defined and the same with the little um, button embellishments. They just don't seem to stand out as much, but I do really like that. I do, but I think it's the papers. I loved those papers. I love those papers. Um, no journaling, just just a title of family. And who it is, Dad, Jonathan, me and Granddad. So, yeah. Oh, another picture taken by my daughter. Uh, so, that London trip, we also went for a day in Windsor and went to Windsor Castle. And it's the first time I'd ever been to Windsor Castle as a tourist, but I did used to work in Windsor at one point uh, and worked in the castle for a couple of weeks. I used to do the Windsor... Um, and Eton Festival. Um, I used to run the box office and um, yeah, so beautiful place and very, very, very fond memories of my time in Windsor. So it was lovely to explore it as a tourist for the first time. I've never been around Windsor Castle as a tourist. I've been to bits of Windsor Castle that tourists don't get to see, but I've never been to see the bits that tourists see, which is weird. Um, off to see the Queen, doesn't say anything else, doesn't have a date, doesn't have any of that. No, uh, don't like this, don't, don't like it. Um, like the papers, definitely not my favourite scrap page. Another very old piece of scrapbooking. This is actually vellum. Again, remember I said that I used to get a kit? This is one of those kits. Um, this, these are pictures from Holland, um, doesn't say what year here, but it might do. There's some journaling in a little envelope. That was something that we used to do, little envelopes uh, on the page. I've got these weird sequiny 
sort of snowflakes this strange buckle with um with a ribbon i mean i love the, the the vellum stuff in the background i just yeah that's very early scrapbooking that is randomly so this is walking on water so yeah um oh yeah that's a, like a, a fabric-y type sticker like a ribbon sticker this is us walking on water so this is a canal and that's my cone uh my cone yellow it's my cone is yellow uh, and this is a canal that's completely frozen over and this is one of the massive big um i think it's the ice on there so it they called it inside seas or that kind of thing um it's water that's been trapped by the by the way that they've built up the land around holland uh because most of it's under the water table under the water level what's that what's that called I digress uh, and this particular winter it was perishingly cold as you can probably tell because I am absolutely like struggling with how cold it was but we walked out and it was weird because you could see the ripples of the sand underneath like frozen completely frozen water um, and that was the year that they did the ice race so what they do is they do a race over the ice um, on skates um, but all the waterways, when they're frozen enough, there's like lots of safety tests and all the rest of it. And when they're frozen enough, they can do this big, long race. It's like a big marathon race um, across the waterways. And that was just before that happened um, because it was that cold that winter. Uh, another very, very old scrapbook page. Who remembers using skeleton leaves? Clearly, I'd got a punch. Another envelope. So I'm assuming there's some journal in there weird stickers with handwriting are oh, just awful awful but pictures of me from my upper sixth ball so this at this point i was my daughter's age and that was the dress i wore for my upper sixth ball i used to love that i had a it's like a really beautiful silky type knit cardigan short sleeve cardigan that was a full length one with splits up the sides I wore that for another ball a couple of years later. Definitely not one for not using the same thing twice. Right, so this is the point where I obviously got some pocket pages. Um, so this is mine and Vin's first ever holiday together. We did a bit of camping in the Lake District. Um, yeah, didn't really know how to do pocket kind of scrapbooking. Um, mishmash of pages of papers that were obviously from the same kit uh, but I just yeah I, I'm still not keen on pocket pages sometimes they can work really well and sometimes they don't this is frustrating me because it's slightly wonky but for some reason I've got the best things in life aren't things stamped on a card just on this card plonked and then my bit of handwriting I suppose at least I've got some journaling on here don't know what year it was I'm gonna go with 2004 might have been 2005. Um, but clearly, when you've got a pocket pages, you have to do the other side too. <laughs> so the other side of this is exactly the same thing. So it's the other side of that piece of paper, which is also weird. I, I, don't, I don't think I would do that anymore. I think I would probably just put another piece in and do a different page. But yeah, and this is a different uh, holiday. This was actually just after we got married um, and we went down to Cornwall. Uh, we had a sort of couple of stops on our holiday and in Cornwall we stayed with our friends, um, Phil, Cole, um, Mart, who else came? Lise came, um, Scott came for a few days I think, but yeah we hired a cottage. Um, but anyway, on this particular day we went down to the Eden Project. Um, yeah, really like those pictures, they're fun. I don't mind this page as much, even though I hate that paper. It's horrible paper. It's just not me. Not me at all. Okay, back to another pocket page. So this is the same as this, but you can see that it's just rotated. Um, so this is our trip up to Newcastle. Um, we were staying up in Scotland for a few few days. Um, in fact, this was after the Stirling. So I think my daughter had gone up to my cousins with uh, my mum and dad. For a few days they we, we followed up we had the day in sterling 
and overnight stop there. Then we spent a few days with my cousin, probably when those pictures were taken of me and my big cousin. Um, and then we went to Perthshire. Did we go to Perthshire? Yeah, Perthshire for a friend's birthday uh, who lived near there. I think, yeah, he lived near Perth. Um, so we had a few days there in a caravan with some of our friends. Um, and then we decided to extend our holiday just a little bit longer and we went for a, a long weekend in Newcastle. Um, so yeah, this was us uh, waiting for our food to arrive. We were having some cuddles, little cuddles with my beautiful girl. And then again, Newcastle pictures um, and this was us. So yes, it had recently been the Olympics or it was the Olympics. I'd just been the Olympics. Yes, because when we were with my cousin, I remember us watching the closing ceremony of the Olympics. Uh, so 2012, that's when this is. There you go. I've not written a... Yeah, August 2012. There we go. I have written a date on it. So yes, we went and um, explored round. But yes, they got all the Olympic stuff because there was a few events that actually happened in Newcastle. Can't remember what events they were, but there you go. Very old scrapbooking, uh, but doesn't look like it doesn't look too bad i've got a mat for my photos um i suppose this is the thing that's fun so at this point i was learning how to use like word art and put the pictures behind the letters yeah anyway that is this is in colmar uh which was from It is in France, I'm pretty sure it's in France, but we were on our way from Basel to, or Basel, or Belle, to Strasbourg, um, and our friends Helen and Pascal, who randomly we've just seen fairly recently, we've not seen them for years, and then suddenly they phoned and said they were they were nearby, so they popped in for a, a little, little while, which was lovely. So another picture from Strasbourg. Now these this was a really important trip because we flew into Baal, went to Strasbourg, uh, stayed with Helen Pascal for a couple of days, had a lovely long, long weekend, don't know how long we were there for, for a few days anyway, beautiful, beautiful place. And then we travelled back by train back to Baal, stayed there for a couple of days and that's where Vin proposed. So very important holiday that. Uh, what I hadn't realised at the time was I was pregnant and I drank a lot that weekend. Um, <laughs> oops very very old scrapbooking page wow so we've got some kind of attempt at doing funny edges probably using scissors and this is a picture of my father and i in pantomime the less said about that the better but there you go um so we were in puss in boots and i played the princess and my father played whatever the fool would, would have been and that, that Yes. Uh, this was my cousin's wedding celebration. Uh, so that's our family. N nothing really visible about which year it was, but apparently it was in August. Um, I'm hoping that there might be something in the journaling thing. Again, very early scrapbooking. It's just basically a picture with some pattern paper. Interesting. Okay. Um, I've not got too many more, promise you. We'll be done within the hour. Okay, this is a picture of me with Father Christmas from back in the 80s. I'm going to guess 81, maybe. Looking at my age, maybe 82. Um, this whole page is pattern paper with another piece of pattern paper cut out and the picture plonked on top of it. And a rub on. <sighs> with another rub on here. Do you know what, though? It's quite cute. I quite like it. Sometimes less is more, but would I do this now? No. These are very old scrapbooking pages now. So we are getting... Oh, no, there are some more modern ones coming up. I was going to say, are we getting to the very old ones only? So me and my mum. Uh, this is the day of the favourite picture, because I've got the tea towel and that, that play suit on. Uh, so again, Menorca. I could scrap about Menorca forever because I just love that place. It's just the most beautiful place in the world. So we've got like a handmade paper. 
in here and then this is one paper in the background i've added a, a rub on and then this is a, a printed ribbon um that i think is embossing so i'd obviously learn how to use um embossing powder by this point but badly um, <laughs> yeah. And I've threaded these little tags onto some sort of like faux suede or something. Oh, now that's interesting. I've sort of inked the edges. I think I was a bit ahead of my time there because I, I don't think inking of edges was a thing. But I, I apparently did it there. Again, not well, but I did it. And another very old picture and another old scrapping page. So I have my mum picture there and my dad picture here. Again, some really badly um, stamped and embossed letters and a stamped and embossed heart. And this is me writing in an embossing pen badly and embossing it badly. Uh, eyelet setter. Oh, yeah. I mean, by this point, I'd obviously got supplies. Uh, terrible page skeleton letters no sense of cohesion whatsoever um, and it clearly has been light damaged this paper so the edge of it is thin because I actually think this is just it'll be from one of those you know the scrapbooks that you got in the 1980s and 90s uh, it was for A3 sized that you used for school and stuff it'll have been that it'll have been that paper <laughs> interesting Anyway, that was in complete contrast to Minorca. That was on the Mumbles in, in South Wales. Picture of me as a teeny tiny baby with my mum. So I was only a few weeks old. Just noticed my mum's top. It's lovely. Very nice. Um, this page, I did not ink that edge. That must be how it came. I'm looking at it going, maybe I did, maybe I did ink that page. I don't think so, because I'd have inked the rest of it then if I'd done that. So I don't know when I made this. I think this was still quite a while ago. Uh, beautiful paper, though. I don't know where the paper's from, so it must have been from one of those scrapbook kit things. Yeah, lovely. Okay. My Vin and me. So, so some more of that hideous paper that I obviously liked. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it, but I don't like it now. Really like, though, all the little card candy. That's quite cute. Uh, not so keen on the hand-cut heart. That's a bit weird, but... Uh-huh. Um, don't dislike this page. That's an interesting choice, putting three strips of ribbon over the picture. Um, but, yeah, this was me out for my birthday meal, and my dad took this picture of the two of us um, back in 2004. So very early in our relationship. Oh, older pages again. Uh, school pictures. So I've added some gingham ribbon to go with the gingham dress. I've done lovely, um, oh, what's it called? Anyway, zigzag. Yeah, it's going to annoy me now. Uh, zigzag scissors to do that. They're not called zigzag scissors. Yeah, ter terrible, but very cute early scrapbooking pages. And here we go. Here's the story of Baal. So at this point, I was obviously very into printing out my stuff. So I printed out um, these. Now, these are interesting because the pens have clearly deteriorated over time into the plastic. So I've stuck to the plastic um, at some point and they've moved around and it's sort of gone all kind of grungy which I don't dislike oh no I think it's the glue coming through or the tape that's underneath it coming through the paper I think that's what it is so it looks a bit mucky and grungy but I don't mind it love the paper in the background wow how cute is that love that paper don't dislike this I mean I would definitely choose to put these pictures together in a very different fashion um, if I was to re-scrap them there we go slightly more modern ones i'm saying modern they're still probably about five years six years old uh so stamping in the background on the gray which is quite interesting to see um we've got some embellishment kind of clusters going on not quite um but yeah basically this is a very typical picture of me this is what i do for a lot of pictures is i have my tongue out 
pictures out there had to be at least a picture of me with my tongue out in this album um ah right okay so this i remember being a challenge on a facebook group or something saying oh scrap a picture of you and ask your friends what their words are for you so that's what they were which is really nice obviously everyone was in a kind mood that day thoughtful inspired creative caring patient giggly talkative yeah smiley helpful and friendly um so very nice things to say about me um i did do some journaling around the edges in the same color pen as the background so i can hardly read it so that was a bit daft but hey ho i like this 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 is a bit of me this this page i love the papers i love the colors and i love the way that i've i've made this page it, it that looks like a bit of me that oh that however so this is the hotel where my husband proposed the story i know is on several cards in there um awful scrapbook page just makes my eyes hurt to look at it but memories still memories oh my cutie pie baby so these were pictures that we paid to have done um, we were originally not going to be in the pictures and it was just going to be pictures of her and then last minute had a change of mind and decided I would be in the pictures. So I'd have done something different with my hair if I'd have known, but there you go. Um, but yeah, Maya was absolutely brilliant that day. Um, I like this. I like the, the, the tags. Again, this is me. Clearly this and uh, this were done at a very similar time because I'm using the same type of letters. So this is this is very much me. I even really like the glitter paper in there, and I am not a glitter paper person. Oh, I've just noticed this is not one strip of paper. These are squares. Interesting. I wonder if someone else designed that page then. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. So again, this whole background is one thing, except for the hearts. The hearts, I remember stenciling and inking myself. Now that's a bit above and beyond, because that, that was new, doing that kind of thing, I think. I don't know, but obviously me and my hubby, uh, oh, not my hubby, it was still my boyfriend, um, and that was Christmas sort of time in 2004 at my parents' apartment that they were living in at the time. Um, yeah. Vellum. Look at that, some vellum underneath. Bit of doodling. Maybe I did this later than I'm thinking I did. Don't know, but it's obviously one of those scrap pages papers that I got from one of those kits. Uh, more pictures of me and the hubby, and this is at our friend Alison and Nathan's wedding uh, back in two thousand and eight. And I remember Maya dancing all night that night. Um, I have no idea what I'm wearing. Looking at that, I'm thinking I don't know what dress that is. Oh, obviously long since gone. Um, but yeah. Hmm. <laughs> So it was the first wedding we'd been to after we'd got married, actually. That's probably why we're a bit, a bit loved up. Probably a bit drunk as well, if I'm honest. And there we go. This is the last page. You'll be glad to hear. Um, yeah, kept it under an hour. Me and the hobby. But you can see there, I can see the tape coming through. There's definitely tape underneath all of that. Early scrap of page, but major amounts of layers. But it was all like... <laughs> fill the empty space weird weird page but you know sometimes you learn from these things but yeah it's interesting sort of like where i've where i've laid the tape underneath the picture it's just come through so you learn from these things sometimes i'm gonna go back to one of those pages that i really liked i'm gonna go back to that one to finish talking to you so um I hope you enjoyed that. I I enjoyed it, A, because I went down memory lane for a bit, which was fun. Uh, but also, it was interesting to see all the different styles. I mean, you can't get more different from uh, that. From that. I mean, they're just miles away from each other. Um, oh, this hideous page there. You know, they're all so different though. But you know what? I'm not going to take any of them out. I might re-scrap photos at some point in my life, but my intention is not to. There's so many pictures that I've not scrapped. Why would I? Why would I want to do that? 
there are, I say, I do regret that I don't have when I made these things or um, that don't they don't all have dates on or that kind of thing. I do get a little bit hung up about wanting it to be precise and wanting it to be right. And I've had to just let that go because I will pick a picture to scrap and it'll just be, that's the picture I want to scrap today. I don't do it in order. I don't do it in any kind of sense of anything else. So um, I'm saying I do this. I haven't scrapped for years and then suddenly I've become obsessed with it. So we'll see how many more scrapbook pages I do. But as you can see there, there was no empty spaces for me to slot my recent pages in. So I will have to go and grab another album anyway to see if I can find somewhere to slot them in. Uh, but if you enjoyed this, please do let me know. Pop us something in the comments just so I say more or nah, don't do this again. <laughs> it was too long. Um, but I enjoyed making it. I probably will make another one. Whether I'll get through all six plus a bonus seven, probably not. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but yes. Until next time, goodbye.